Well, we've discovered something quite wonderful. Now, have you ever wanted to create your own cutting die? Well, Momenta makes it easy. We have four new cutting die sets from Momenta, and they'll show you how to do just that. We'll show you how. Right. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here are the four packages. We promised four, right? <laughs> there are four sets, and the first one is Fancy Label. We have Circle, one that's called Square Banner, and Oval Scallop. Okay, and each of them has the same type of activities right. you can do with it, but let's just focus on right. one. Okay? And they each have, by the way, they vary from 10 to 12 oh. pieces in okay. each package, so let's get in and show you yeah, what's in this first one. Let's this go here. is the fancy label. Okay, and there are 10 pieces. There are 10 pieces. But this says that there are 16 configurations and... So 16 different shapes that you can make. They do show you on the front all of the different combinations right. you can make. And the reason you can make those combinations is because it comes in pieces like this. You've got all the bits and pieces. Right. We'll show you a little bit more about yeah. that in a second. But here are some of the shapes that I made with them. So the red, you can see the different shapes. We have different end pieces. Here's an end piece. And actually, ah. this one I turned on on its side. It's the same end piece here as here. Here's a different end piece. So three different end pieces in this set. But we also have what I'm calling extenders. These long the straight pieces. pieces. Right. There okay. are two long and two short. So that with this one, uh, let's see. I'll, actually, I'll show you right on here. I'll go to this one. Okay. And here are the end pieces. And we might want to zoom in a little bit on that that I used. And if you set this right here, you can see there's okay. one end piece. And here's the other end piece. So here are the two end pieces that were used to create that. And then it's connected with these extenders. And it's kind of like a puzzle piece. Yeah. You connect this piece on one end. And they actually fit together. They, they fit together. They, they just set in together. They do not lock. So when you get them okay. in place, you want to, you want to set them down and so use and stencil tape or right yeah you can use tape, tape mm -hmm. or you can actually I I did these without using tape as oh. long as you set them down kind of carefully they'll okay. pretty well stay together but you can tape them too that makes it easy okay so that makes that big one now right. to do the small one I bet you've got smaller extenders you've got smaller <laughs> extenders so this one would set here this one would set here but I would use the same end pieces right. and just put them up on this one. For this one, right. I didn't use the extenders at all, and I just turned this one on its side, Wow! and it creates <laughs> that tiny little label. Very so, fun. So, yeah, you can imagine that combination with each and every one of these because we have different end pieces. Yeah, I was just going back. Okay, right. go ahead. So, like, there's one. There's a different end piece for that one, and, uh, and the, the long th extenders, the short extenders, and then on right. end. And then the same with this one. So the combinations really, also you can trade these out so that I have two different end pieces. I could put one on one end and the other on the other end and use those extenders and you can get two different ends if okay, you need to. Okay, if you want to. Okay. Okay, so all of that great variety from one, That's one from set. one set. Right. Correct. Okay, let's see how that could be manifest okay. in a card. <laughs> and look at this beauty. <laughs> so um, Gail did this. And we'll back up just a smidge. Okay, there is a large label right here, right. another large one right here. Set so is end. that the same one? It is the same okay. size and it is using the, the long extenders. So I use this, the large uh, long end piece, the long extenders okay. and created two large labels. And this is a different one. Right. For the center, I actually used the same end piece, right. but I used both the end pieces without extenders and oh. it created that small center piece. In that piece. case. Okay. okay. And then you beautifully <laughs> stamped. Did some stamping. This right. is using the feather stamp mm -hmm. set. This is on black cardstock. Right. So you can see the feathers. It also has this great scroll, scroll work down at the 
the bottom so you can see, yeah, you can see that on there. Okay. And I stamped uh, on the paper in silver stays on, and I stamped on metallic silver for those, one of those yeah. labels. Here's the metallic silver, right. which is a 12 by 12 sheet in silver and in gold. So overall I used black stays on and silver stays right. on. Now the other thing that so surprises me is that you used trailblazer paper. <laughs> and I would not have um, kind of really envisioned that. And I just, the reason why I wanted to show mm -hmm. this is because this has such a lacy, just oh, beautiful right. look. Kind of an ethereal almost look. Yeah, and trailblazer, trailblazer feels thing. very, you know, right. uh, outdoorsy. But and, then that is really typifies our paper packs. They're really versatile because okay. there's always something in there that's just a little bit different different even though it matches everything and that teal really does it. So that's that's just a really nice design tip right. to know. The other thing that you did is you use these metal stickers also from Momenta. Right. But you highlighted them with that silver stays on. Right. So And there you I go. actually kind of like to show you that just oh, really okay. briefly. It's got one of those little birds cuz we're not doing a lot of demos, so I do want to show you something something <laughs> kind of fun to do. So just get a little of the silver stays on on a cosmetic wedge, and it's just super easy. Go just around. You're highlighting. I'm just highlighting. I'm going around yeah. the edges, and it leaves some of the black, and it just gives it a little bit of a vintagey look. Very pretty. Now you did complete the inside of this card, so there again is that nice large label, and you've done stamping all over it as right. well as onto the. Uh, inside of the card and another of one of those birds and don't let life ruffle your feathers just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that's <laughs> just thank you and that's just a, a fun thing a great thing that you can do with just different size labels yeah so from one cutting die set just mixing right. and matching the labels wonderful and coming up with something fun like that. now from the same set right we're going to show a card that Debbie made and here we go. Now this one has a window. That's got a window. So I just thought that was a great idea. You can use whatever size you want to create that window and then you can make extra labels, which she has done. And she has mixed and matched some of the ends to get different right shapes there. there. You can see that. And then there's another one on the inside. Right. So you're going to show how to position that? I am. So what I have here is the sidestep card. So this is what the, with, forgetting that for the moment, this is what the <laughs> sidestep card looks like. When you get it, it is folded, it is ready to go. Just like that. Just like that. So Debbie went ahead and she actually put her paper on here as well first. Right. So go ahead and put your paper on there, just like you say you see there. And then I actually did tape this on here right in the place where you want that to be because I don't want that shifting around. I have the cutting uh, edge of that cutting die facing the paper. Now in this case I just want to point out you've used cellophane tape but if right. you had this covered with paper, you of course would use uh, stencil tape. Stencil tape, right. yeah. Or I, washi tape. I put it tape. on here for real quick, but yeah, yeah, use stencil tape so you can remove it easily. So the cutting edge is facing the cardstock, and it's on that side. It's ready to go, and I'll, I'm going to place it like this in my uh, machine here. So I've got the cutting die machine. Something else I wanted to show. I think I'll do this first, and then I'll show you the reason I have that. Um, lined paper in there. <laughs> I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you that in a moment, but first let's make the window. So I've got, my, I'm going to sandwich it between my two cutting platforms. And I always put the cut side up and the cutting edges of those cutting dies up. Anyway. It's going to cut into your pristine plate there. Right. You know. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me think. Oh yeah, I was doing embossing folders and I thought I had to open I forgot. And this is not an embossing folder. So we just okay. run that through like so. There you go. Okay. Put that off to the side for the moment. And when you take that out, now you've got a nice little window right there. You can already see it. One thing about uh, the connecting of these, right where it connects, sometimes it leaves a tiny little tab a uh, tiny little tab. I'm going to take these off with the tape and everything. You can see right where the two connect. Oh, a little, see a little nib. Tab. It's sort of like popping out a die cut. It just oh, pops okay. right out. So oh, good to know. There you go. So now you've got a window 
in your sidestep card excellent that's all ready to go wow I am going to go back now and show you why I had those uh, lines don't forget you've got this that you can use somewhere else <laughs> there too. you go <laughs> you've got a label there so underneath my cutting platform or let's see this is the platform I've got the cutting plates I put a piece of lined paper and then I'll put down this uh, cutting uh, cutting plate here and when you place these pieces on here I found that it was nice to have those lines there to line up to oh. make sure that it doesn't get askew the, the, the shorter ones it makes it easier to make it pretty straight but sometimes on the longer ones you really need to sort of line them up and it's just nice to have that line there to sort of line it up to make sure the top and the bottom are going to make a nice straight label. I'm, I want to okay. put them together just so I can show the way it can look. Come on, get on there. <laughs> there we go. It does help to talk to things, just in <laughs> case you were wondering. Because you can, it can go off a little bit if you right. you don't want it misaligned. So I used that to line up those edges and make it just so. And then anyway, you would just. Yeah, tuck that, put in, that in right. Put that up too, but Excellent. it's just that that's why I had the paper in there. Good idea. Okay. Okay, just going back to Debbie's card. So you've seen the window. So you would first, as you said, cover your card with paper, whatever paper. Right. In this case, uh, she has used the roses and lace paper pack. So you can see that. She also used the. Um, Rose, the matching roses and lace scrapbooking dazzles. Now, these obviously are not limited to scrapbooking, but they are larger elements. Right. So, you can so they make great focals. Yeah. And there's also some diamond eye stickles within there to oh. get a little bit of glitter Ooh. on that rose. Which oh, I wow. So back your dazzles with paper and then put some uh, stickles in there. Excellent. Beautiful. And then on, so there you can get a nice close up of the side. Mm -hmm. On the inside, she also used um, a, the word hello that comes from the everyday greetings. Now, this has three finishes. I love that. One of them. <laughs> do you like that? Oh, yeah. It's so <laughs> versatile. You you know, you'll pull out something, you know, that's just the right greeting, but, you know, I need something darker. I need something a little lighter. I love oh. the gold and the silver. It's a great use of it. And this also, so it's got a gold uh, pearl finish. It's right. got a silver pearl and the black. The silver pearl perfectly matches mm -hmm. the uh, roses and lace dazzles. So right. that's what she's done there. So just perfect. So fun card, fun use of those labels and different edges on them. So. Yeah, so just a variety of things you can do. Now, okay. the uh, and that next was all one. From, that was all from one set we right, just showed you. Right, all of those variations. Now, we do have the three other sets. We don't have more projects for you because really it's the same thing. It's right. just different shapes. Right, but different shapes, the same extenders. You can mix and match the ends. Right, now right. this is the circle and it makes 24 it makes, configurations. It says it makes 24 mm -hmm. shapes. It does have 12 pieces and you can see them on the front. You can see all of the different shapes they came up with. I went ahead and cut some of them out of this great silver linen specialty paper. So you can see if you were to use only the circle, it would come up with a length this, this one, this one, and then a full on a circle. circle. <laughs> and then there is a square end, so you'll get a rectangle, a rectangle, and then a smaller rectangle. Let me see how wide that circle is. It's uh, two and five eighths inches okay. wide, just to so give you the a one. place. So this one, I actually, the end pieces were here, the extenders were here, and this one I just turned the end pieces sideways. Okay. So it doesn't have a one that's this long, but it does have one this long. And when you put it together, then you get that shape. But then it also has these smaller end pieces, so you can get these long strips and a smaller. And these are nicely piece. rounded. Right. Uh, they're not sharp. Mm -hmm. They're just they're nicely rounded. So now, these are all the shapes that you can get with this. You found something else. There is something <laughs> else. If you mix a, a circle on one end with that square end on the other, and use the long extenders, you've got a tag. Just punch a hole at the top, and that's what's shown right there. Right. So, so um, that is this a really great feels pretty use. complete, right? Sure. I mean, look at you can get labels, you can get circles, squares, right. you can get that tag. I also saved some of the pieces that I cut out because you can get these great windows. So we showed ah. you how to do a window. These are also great for framing a photo 
or some journaling. I really like this one. It kind of reminds me of the front of a, a file holder with a right. little, you know, a little label right in there. So, and if we can get in closer, I wonder if you can see. It. There's kind of an indentation, kind of a frame outside sure, of the frame. Sure, it'll emboss the edge. Yeah, and that's nice. Yeah, so that's the that's edge a of nice the die addition. doing that. So that one was the circle set. And here is the next, which is called a square, square banner. banner. Right, and the this reason has they 12 call pieces. it, right, because mm -hmm. they've got some square ends, and you can create a square with it, but you can also, which is actually a fancy edged or fancy quartered square, but you can also create these banners with that one piece. And you just happen to have? I do, 12 <laughs> pieces in that one. That one says it will do 20, 20. different shapes. And here are just some of them. So large, medium, small of one end, large, medium, small of another end. Here's one of the other ends. And then there's that banner, which I think is kind of yeah. fun. You can use that for all sorts of uses. Get those equidistant ends to right. it. <laughs> and the last one is this, which is the a oval scallop. Thank you. I knew scallop was in there. <laughs> and this has 12 pieces. We'll make 25 configurations, right. and you've and done some of those. I've done some of those. So I did. I've, you're only seeing the basic ones that I have done, just right. some of the basic end shapes, and they do show combinations of you know mixing and matching the ends. So you get lots of different right. combinations besides what you're seeing here. I love the little scallop edge. That's very nice. So it's fun to get that. And it's nice you don't have to cut it. <laughs> That's right. I was thinking that. I didn't say it, but I was sure thinking it. <laughs> so I think hats off to Momenta, uh, who now has the Art C um, a brand. And this is the Create Your Own oh, Die, right. cutting die sets. Right. And while I haven't tried mixing and matching the sets oh, together, but you might you try getting a couple of them and see how that works. And let us know. <laughs> Thank you, and have fun creating your own dies. See you next time. But wait, just as we were done, John had an idea, and his idea was. Smart guy that he is. Yep. He says, how about you put both those extenders together and make extra long pieces? So, so I'm sure that's probably something that they're showing on the front of that package. You can get these extra long maybe. pieces. Maybe. That's just a great idea. Yeah. In this case, I would absolutely use that um, lined paper yeah. underneath so you can line it up. Because I'll show you, because you know they're going to move pretty easy. You don't want them to get out of alignment. Right. So you, you're going to want to line it up. You could even tape it down with a little stencil tape. But there you go. And way to go, John. Thank you. <laughs>